Hello guys, tonight I will try to show you how to properly align the Celestron Astrophy. I have this one 6 inches and I, I have a lot of difficulty when I buy this one because I never get the proper align fine and never get the, the go to works well how I expected and the manual and everything I found didn't help me a lot. So I discovered for myself a little tricks and I will try to show you. You need just two tools to make this align. It's easy to, to buy and every China site like Deal Extreme, AliExpress sell it and you can get it very easy. Is this. First one is this bubble level. I buy this tool because I didn't know what will be better for me, but I never used this one. This one is more precise, but I always do this, this is smaller. I can put here in the tripod and make the, the align very easy. It's not be so necessary to, to be so precise. So I, I use this one and size I I don't make astrophotography very in a very hard way from deep sky objects. I do more planetary things. So this this smaller one do the work and, and work very well for me. Another tool you need is this compass. You can buy any compass you, you like. I like this one because I can yeah. set here the, these degrees and I mark one personalized degrees and for, for do this align you need to set the scope to the north position I don't know why but in my case I always get a better result when I set a, like 10 degrees here from north so I, with this compass like I, I can change here I, I can mark this better position for me. So having these tools, you just needed to start. I, I put my telescope in the final position and making sure to get all the view that I, I could use. I have a little field of view here. It's just between these two, three. I don't know if you can see from there. It's it's a, a smaller field, but I can use. So I set the height in a more comfortable way, so I can use the telescope sitting in a chair. And when I get it, I just put the level bubble and level the tripod. Just You just need to adjust the height of, of the tripod and get the, the proper level in in the bubble level okay so let's do it so I have adjusted each side of this tripod and now I get the bubble level center and it's fine now, so when the, the scope is level I just need to plug the power on and I come to my tablet now I use one iPad work very well with this app I just make sure we are connected to Celestron the scope and then you get to the app and at the first time you need to move the scope to the north as I say the first time you will see these two options connect and align and connect just tap on connect okay just to move your scope and the, the controls when the control is up there, make sure it's in far, far speed to move more fast. Now, you need to use your compass. Okay, I put here, make sure this is aligning to the bottom of the circle. And just move your scope to the north position. As I say, for me, I have a better better result when I, I make this position like 10 degrees from the north. 
So it's a thing you you need practice to learn and discover how is the better position to you. Okay? So I really just need to move the scope. Another tip for you, if you use the scope in always in the same position in your house or, or something like that, you can mark it in, in the wall or some reference uh, where is the north position and better location for you. This is my kid saying hello. Hello! Now you have your scope leveled and I pointed to the north. You just need now to to make sure the scope is in horizontal okay to start the line and then you can open the scope pick your more large eyepiece plug in and turn on the finder okay now is one trick that i discovered by myself you need to reset your scope and you can't get just doing disconnect here and and connect again don't do it you need to turn off your scope if you don't do it, it will not work very well so turn off turn on again check your wi-fi connection is already connected because iPad make the connection more stable for a long time, even if lost a sign of a little. And go back to Skyport again. And now, when you have your scope level appointed to the north in horizontal way, you can start to, to do the align. You just need to click now, connect and align. You connect. And as you can see, the crosshair here is sighted to the north on the app in, in the horizontal line. Okay, so you just need to set one star. You, you click one visible star you have in your sky, click and enter and start a line. So I mark entire is here and I will just move the scope to this position. Okay is moving so you just need to find the star with range finder and go to there point there with the hot dot so i already pointed to one terrace in in my scope using range finder but if you see in the app is not pointed to there so the align begins doing that okay you need to to tell through the software that this point is where the scope is looking for so i tap enter as you can see the speed change to two and now i do the the fine align in my scope Okay, just centralize the object in the, your eyes piece. After centralize your object in the eyes piece, just click here, align. And then they say you have one object aligned. Now, you can see the scope is sighted precisely in the object that you choose. Now you just need to select another object and click go to. The scope already go to there and you just need to make sure with finder that is set it to there and when it's set it, you just press enter and do the final line again i already have done that just press the line again now you have two objects select another as as i say i don't have a large field of view that's why i chose in a little space of the sky to, to do this alignment. But this is work very well for me. Okay, just select another. I'm staying in Scorpions. 
and press go to and repeat the process when is is precisely check out the finder you press enter and then do a line again I check the scope and is a line I just press enter now you do the final line again and press a line when it's finished the object is centered okay at my eyes piece so I just press a line and you hit this message align to sit just press done and then you are fine to use the go to this work very well really very well and you can point every object that you have at the sky and it will point to you very precisely okay and if you need to do more align during the process let me do an example let's hear this mess here So imagine that past the, the time and the, the align is not more precise like was before. You just need to select the object and click align again. They will refine your align and add this align to the align that we had before. Okay, you can do it 10 times. Okay, just press and you will be centered again. You can do this like each hour of use as you prefer okay when you see is not so much align again you just focus on the object and click align again and, and it will refine your align okay when you get that is just enjoy your scope select any object at the sky press go to and then look to the eyes piece and the object will be centered there okay i hope i could help you I have uh, a lot of troubles when I start with this scope, but when I get these tricks, it's become a, a very easy scope to use. I love this mount and how easy we can hit every object on the sky. And when you are a starter, astronomer, amateur, or something like that, just an enthusiast like me, and sometimes you don't know so much from the sky. And with this app, you can hit every object visible at the sky in a very very easy way okay hope you enjoy thank you if you have one question or or doubt you can ask in the comments okay thank you bye bye Matthews. Yeah.